Hello there. Can you please tell me a little bit about yourself and what involvement you've had with Startup Weekend? Yeah, hi. My name is Heidi Douglas and I'm a designer and a photographer. I did Startup Weekend 2017 and it was awesome. It was such a good experience. I can't recommend it enough. Um, so my background, as I said, is in designing, specifically graphic design and photography. So I was in a hot commodity as there were not too many designers there. I did Startup Weekend um, with the hopes of making connections within the industry and to get sort of the business side of things and, uh, and to get to know other um, developers. Okay, I've got an architectural background. Um, but last year I was doing a certificate of small business with the Wining app. Pascal came and introduced the Startup Weekend to us there. So I signed up as a student. Um, I pitched an idea for community living. I'm Francis and I am a nurse and have been for um, several years. I got into Startup Weekend completely by mistake when I saw the information about the Grand Swell Innovation Festival in Tarong. I thought that's fabulous. So I entered the competition and I won a place on Startup Weekend without any idea really of what was coming my way. Awesome. And what was your team concept? So the team concept was good times for great causes. So the idea was um, that we would put on events and any profit from the event would go to charitable causes. And if you were to describe Startup Weekend in one sentence, how would you do it? Ooh, one sentence. Just one sentence. Fun, fantastic, furious, tiring, and exceptional. What word would you pick out of those to describe it as close as you could? One word to describe it. Yeah, first thing that comes to mind. Amazing. <laughs> well, it was incredible, challenging, exhausting, and very rewarding. One sentence? Fab. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was exciting, exhausting, exhilarating, completely nothing like I'd ever done before. It was, I really enjoyed it. So at Startup Weekend, what was the biggest challenge that you had faced? I think for me the biggest challenge um, was time management because it's very intense. You, you basically live, breathe, sweat, eat, drink, everything here. And how did you manage to overcome that during the experience? calling in all my favors, <laughs> but it was worth it. Uh, being shy. How did you manage to overcome that? <laughs> uh, with a lot of uh, support, supportive mentors, uh, in particular, Annie and Lisa, who I'd met at, at WWGSD Unconference earlier in the year. Probably the intensity of non-stop work and the lack of sleep because there was so much thinking and so much pitching and so much new information and so many people that when I went to bed at night after we finished at 11 o'clock at night my mind was still buzzing and I'm, a, I'm an early to bed and late to rise kind of a person so that was a real challenge but by the end of it I was, I was stoked that I managed to get through all of that and for me, I know that if there's a deadline now, if I have to do three days on the trot full, I can do it. Thank you, Startup Weekend, for that. <laughs> what was the biggest impact that you had from Startup Weekend? The biggest impact was by far the connections and the networks that I made from the weekend. Uh, the idea that I was part of, uh, which was the Honest app, um, we have actually continued on as a group and are in the process of launching our business. So it's been great. The people that are in my team have not only become my business partners, but also my friends. So not only has it affected you by being something that you've continued on, but has it helped you outside of your whole startup too, in the workspace or where you're at? Yeah, just having those connections, especially as a designer that doesn't have much knowledge in the way of what the developers do, it really, has connected me with the right people within the industry. Um, and same for on the business side of things, I have a multiple, um, I have multiple connections that I can um, use now. Yeah, his impact was that uh, Connected Living Opportunities or CLOSA was formed. Um, so that became a company. We, we registered that as a company soon after the, the startup weekend, uh, where we were give, granted runners up. 
um, and with a lot of support from the team at Venture Centre, we've continued through the year. Now we have a new team um, and ongoing support. Um, we've started work on our concept contract, our concept design package on a project in Kati Kati uh, with another in the pipeline, uh, thanks to a very socially motivated landowner and collaborator. So I actually came into Startup Weekend with a pitch of um, a business that my husband and I had already started. I just wanted to learn a bit more about how business works, how I should be structuring things. Um, following Startup Weekend, I went on to do co-starters here at Base Station, which was then the nine-week course. And from that, our business is moving forward. My husband's given up work full-time to, to run our business and it's all looking very good. So it all started out with Startup Weekend, followed by co-starters, followed to, we're getting there. So it's been a good journey. <laughs> oh, absolutely, yeah. Cool, and last question, is there anything you'd like to say to those who are unsure whether or not they'd like to join us at this year's Startup Weekend? Oh my gosh, do it. Absolutely do it. You must come and enjoy a Startup Weekend. It's absolutely an experience you need to have. Just do it. Cool, thank you so much. Cool. And so last question, is there anything you'd like to say to those who are unsure whether or not they'd like to join Tauranga Startup Weekend this oh, year? Oh, do it. <laughs> I mean, there's, uh, you just need to do it. It's um, difficult to explain what you'll go through, but you will go through a, um, a roller coaster of emotions, meeting people, thinking, new concepts, new ideas. Um, it's just a fabulous event and there's no question if you go away thinking you didn't like it, you haven't lost anything, but really there's everything to gain. I I'd go. I didn't know what I was getting into and I'm really glad I went. Cool. Thank you so much.